Okay, uh, watch the ball for a moment. Got a ball on a piece of string. And um, I'm going to try to get the ball going in a circle at a constant speed. Now, if I get that ball going at a constant speed, is that uniform motion or accelerated motion? Well, uniform motion has to be constant speed, but it also has to be in a straight line. And since this thing is going in a circle, that's an accelerated motion. When things accelerate, we look for forces on the object. So if we take the ball and ask ourselves, what are the forces, what are the forces on the ball, I suppose the obvious one is the string. The string exerts a force on the ball. Does the string pull or push? Well, you can't push with a string. It must be pulling. And so that force exerted by the string on the ball is causing an accelerated motion. But the question rises, well, what would happen if I cut the string so that the string can no longer exert that accelerating force? What would happen if, as I came around in the circle and I reached just this point, if I were to cut the string? Would the ball then, remembering that it had gone in the circle before, continue for a while in the circle and then under the influence of gravity fall to the floor, kind of follow its tendency in that direction? Or, if I came right around to that point and I cut the string, which after all is pulling in this direction, and now when cut would no longer pull, would the ball then suddenly jump out in that direction once that force was removed? Or would the force or would the ball come around and resume uniform motion at the point where the forces disappeared? If it did that, uniform motion is straight line at constant speed. Well, we can probably try it. We'll swing it around like that, and just when we get around to the right place, right out there, we'll let go. Ha! <coughs> like that. There, I've got the ball back. It did exactly what we thought. Came around, resumed uniform motion, straight line, constant speed, but then, of course, gravity was still there, and that made it dip down a little bit, too, and eventually hit the ground. This experiment, incidentally, is the first one that was ever uh, recorded in the Bible, first physics experiment described in the Bible. Um, it is said that um, David showed this to Goliath, 